there are a few of the um, new features that was added onto 3.2 um, that are very useful and also that a um, lot of users, um, integrators um, on the field were requesting um, to get it improved on the spectrum. So I will start with um, one of the, um, the popular requests and um, it's on the video export. Um, previous versions, um, you were able to export the video um, through three different options. Um, it was, uh, you have option to export, you have option to multi-video export, and third option was rapid review. But with the 3.2, all of this came into one um, function or features that you can export. Uh, you can open up the um, export dialog box and do an export um, with a few options within that export. So um, I will go through the um, export, new features of the export. So what I'm doing is I am checking, uh, selecting the um, start and end of the video that I would like to export. Then we'll click a, so a right click and click on export video. This has been changed. Previous version will have um, export video, multi-video, then rapid review. But everything is came to one simple uh, function. So click on export video then you will see a screen you pop up showing single video, multi-video, um, export settings, and several different options down here. On the previous version, um, if you had a chance to go look after this webinar, um, it was just basic simple. If you click on export video, it will only gonna ask you for where you wanna save it and what's the name you're gonna give to the um, exported file. So here you can see a preview, and also um, there are several new options added, and I will go one by one uh, what they do and how you can use it. And, but first, you can select the, um, the folder where you want to export the videos. Um, if you click on Browse, it's gonna show you your folders. Then you select the location you, you, where you want to save it. Then the name of the export video will be defaulted with the name of the camera that you provided with the spectrum on the resource tree with date and time of the starting of the video that you are exporting. So this is DWC MB45 DIA South Path 3, 2018, July 24, 750, 22 seconds AM. If you click, if you are satisfied with whatever settings here, then you can click export, export the video, or new features at timestamp, on previous version that you can select whether you want to do a timestamp or not, but with this here, you can also, you see the hand up on the um, upper left-hand corner where the timestamp is located. Put your hand there, do a left click, you'll see that the hand became fist, which is, means it's wrapped, the text, now you can drag over where you want to put it. If you want to put it on the lower right hand corner, you will move it here. If you want to put it on center, you can put it on center. And you probably say, well, the text, the time is really, really small. I'm not going to be able to read it. If you look at the right side, there's a font size. You can increase. by changing the font size. Also, 
if you don't like this format, you want to make it shorter, you can change the format to short, which will only show short format of date and time. And there is other formats that you can use for the timestamp, um, ISO 8601, RFC 2822. So each has a different format, um, depending how you want it. Um, you can choose the format that you would like to use. And you can simply uh, remove the time by clicking X right next to the timestamp. Add image. Um, you can add your whatever image that you want to add to this um, video clip. Um, right now, we are adding our BW logo to this image as a default. And by using the opacity, uh, which is transparency, you can apply the bar to the left to have the image being transparent. Also, you can size, you size the image by sliding the size bar left and right. Then you can remove the image by clicking X on the image, then it will disappear. And another overlay or another item that you can add to the export video will be the text. By clicking text, you can enter the um, caption that you want to add onto the um, exported video. I'll say and resize the font. Then this will be, um, this text will be included in the exported video. Again, you can remove the on the text by clicking X. Rapid review is something that's previously on the previous version on a separate option. But here, um, you can do it from this export feature, the function box, and you can set the speed by sliding left and right. And you, when, when you move the slide bar, you'll notice that the end of time will change and frame interval will increase and decrease based on the where you want to put uh, where or where are you putting the on the sidebar and also you have um, several options format video format that you can use to save this for video and for the multi video um, it will export as it will export the layout, same layout. If you have layout, so you'll save it as a new layout, which is new layout. If you change the name to uh, customize the layout name, then it will show whatever name that you give to those layout. And this will be um, exported as it's shown. And another uh, feature that is added to the export is, let's say if you want to zoom in on a certain area, and if you want to export just this part, not the whole image, but just this zoomed in part, then what you will do is export video, 
you will see the original image, but if you click on apply filters, it will only export this part of the video, which is zoomed in part. So these are the new features added into the uh, Spectrum 3.2 as an export function. 